Hello and welcome back to the Hit and Miss Workshop. If you're new to the channel, um, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. So those of you who are not new to the channel may know I've been recently messing around with an ideal Hit and Miss lawnmower engine that's about 100 years old, maybe a little more. Uh, I was having trouble last time I tried to start it. I still have been fighting starting it. I discovered I had lost spark. My coil which I used, did on another video, showed you how to wire a Model T coil. The condenser failed, a uh, hundred year old condenser, you know, um, died. So I replaced the condenser in that, now I'm getting reliable spark. Sorry I didn't make a video on that. I will make one in the future. Right now, it's the global pandemic, we're on lockdown. I need more buzz coils, not going to any engine shows. Um, so, I uh, looked up online and figured out how to make one, and we're going to try to make one today. Amazon just delivered stuff I was waiting for. I got this. Uh, I already have attached the ballast resistor to a 12-volt coil. This one requires a ballast resistor. I got a uh, condenser. Uh, this one is Master Pro 2-2013. Any old automotive condenser will work, and I got a five-pin relay. So we're gonna look at making one. So we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. This is what I built. I will try to um, explain how it's done. It's a little bit complex, and uh, so try to follow along with me. I did find a wiring diagra diagram online for this, so you can look it up. I will try to include the link below. Um, so, our five pin relay. As you can see, this is a bit of a uh, monkey nest of wires here. So, pin number 86 uh, goes to the negative on the coil as well as the negative on the battery. So that splits, it joins. So that's pin 86. Pin number 30 goes to the condenser as well as to your positive switch, or your positive on your battery. Uh, we're gonna run that through a switch. Pin number 87A goes to the positive side of the coil, and it also jumps over to pin number 85. So 85 to 87A, and 87A to positive on the coil, and then Pin number, hard to see in this light, 80, oh, 86 we did already. Uh, so that's it, yeah. Um, so the condenser, I've mounted the body onto the positive side of the uh, coil. Uh, then I've added a spark plug wire here coming out, I have uh, to make a better spark plug wire for this rig, but that's going to run to the positive side of our spark plug. Then we need to jump the negative side over here, so we have to just, normally this would ground your engine, but uh, for demonstration purposes, making this spark plug light up, we're going to ground it with this wire. That's going to go to the negative side of our battery. So, if everything's wired properly, um, when I touch this wire to the positive of my battery, let's see, make sure you're in the shot, I should get a buzz, I should get a spark here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Hopefully you can see it, we'll try to get a better shot of it if not. You can hear my buzz coil buzzing. I am getting a spark, so let me try to get a shot of that for you. Be right back. 
Okay, sorry, it doesn't camera doesn't want to quite focus this close up, so I'm sorry it's a little blurry, but uh, you should be able to see the spark now. So anyway, that's how you make a buzz coil. If uh, people are interested in seeing more, I will uh, be happy to uh, upload a schematic, create a schematic for it, upload it, uh, or I'll attach the link uh, further down under this video shortly. Um, anyway, if you like what you've seen on my channel, please hit like or subscribe on YouTube uh, and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And share it with a friend if you don't mind. Thanks a lot. See you soon.